Normally, we'll try to eat all these 10 burgers, right? So I guess you can kind of say this is a little bit of a clickbait. What is up, y'all? You have tuned into another edition of Keeping It Real TV. I am your host, Regina, and today we're going to be talking about Miss Prissy P's 10 Double Cheeseburger or 10 McDouble uh, Burgers from McDonald's, this new challenge she's come up with. I feel like we should start doing challenges where you eat till you full. So this is going to be a 10 McDoubles challenge with no time limit, but eat till you full. Because I don't want to hurt myself trying to stuff all this food in. Okay, okay, I see you, girl. Okay, so we're going to make changes and you're not going to be stuffing yourself. At least she is trying to make a change and she's going to now eat until she's full and not until she's one bite away from a diabetic coma. So I, I'm, I'm excited to see the 10 McDouble challenge and how full, how long it will take Prissy P to get full and she stops. So we got 10 burgers here for you guys, 10 McDoubles. And why does this one have pickles on it? Okay. We have 10 McDoubles here, but I got mine without pickles. It looks like they just threw whatever they wanted in the bag. They have to be McDoubles. Or you can get, you know, double cheeseburger, whatever, McDoubles, double cheeseburger. So let's get into this grace. Father God, bless this food. Let it be nurtured into my body. Bless the ones that prepared it. Let no harm come to me through this food. And am I pray, amen. So anyways, y'all. How y'all doing today? You can't go to McDonald's without getting a fry. I love their fries. But... I like them better when they're fresh. McDonald's not better than this. McDonald's not better than this. McDonald's not better than this. McDonald's knows better than what? Because all I see is you continue to stuff fries in your mouth as you complain about the food. So evidently it ain't that bad. I'm probably going to probably just take all this food back right now. Because this food is frozen. This one right here only got one patty on it. No, I got to take all this shit back. Now, like I told y'all before, don't play with Prissy P's food. That's one thing you ain't going to play with is her food. I feel sorry for the manager and the workers who had to deal with her coming back in here for her 10 McDouble. Y'all better get that order right. I mean, she came around 11 o'clock in the morning for 10 McDoubles. Somebody probably wasn't having a good morning. I mean, they had just got done with breakfast, but to each his own. So, I, I really feel sorry for him. Let's hope that went well. Guys, so, I had to go back to McDonald's to get the right order. Because I don't know what they gave me. So, now my burgers have two patties and they're fresh. And no, no pickles. But let's get back into the grace again. Father God, Father God, bless this food. Let it be nurtured to my body. Bless the ones that prepared it. Let no harm come to me through this food. And I pray. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to stop you again. It, it, for me, it's just how dare you ask God to let th these 10 McDoubles be nourishment to your body and make sure that no harm comes to you. The same prayer that you uh, prayed earlier when you had the messed up McDoubles. But how dare you just... Uh, you know, ask God, Lord, let this be a uh, nourishment to my body and let no harm come to my body from this food. Like, what in the world? When you know this is bad for you. So, yes, guys. I was talking to my husband. And I was like, you know, babe, the challenges are fun. I know we do it to bring the community together. I get it. But sometimes, it could be a bit much. Which I know we all know that. And just see if oh. maybe somebody else stomach can hold more than your stomach can. So that's why I'm here with the McDouble challenge. And we're gonna see how many I can eat. And I wanna see how many y'all can eat. So Let's go ahead and get a swap. You gotta put some ketchup on that hoe. Let me put some ketchup right there so I can just keep dipping it. Get you a bite. 
Mm-hmm. Nice and fresh. Now, before we continue, I'm just going to say that this is no longer a McDouble challenge. This is now a McDonald fry challenge. You're not even eating the burgers. You're eating more fries than anything. And then turn around and say, I was able to eat three. Well, if you were really doing the challenge, you probably could have ate more. But you put them fries in you and all of that drink. Like, if you want to eat, just say you want to eat. Turn the camera off and eat. Dog your burgers. You know that's what you're doing anyway. But from here on out, any time that she's eating these fries, I'm just going to speed it up. Because that's what she's doing most of the time. So, with the burgers out of his head. Mind you, it's early in the morning. It's 7 a.m. And, you know what I mean? I'm just about to get no cold food. But, me and my child are on the inside of the pool bed. And once we walk in, y'all. I think Burger King served double cheeseburgers, too. What type of challenge is this? What are you doing? This girl just sat to cheat the burger down to pick up more fries. This ain't no daggone challenge. You're eating because you want burgers from McDonald's and fries from McDonald's. And this is your excuse to eat three of them. And fries. And probably ate the rest when the camera went off. I'm starting to think this is, this is clickbait because this ain't no 10 burger challenge. This ain't no McDouble challenge. This is a McDonald's fry challenge because that's all you eating and then drinking out of your gulp cup or whatever it is. So I was able to eat three burgers and half of my fry. Wow. I thought I was gonna be at least get four or five. I would like to see how many you can eat. If you think you could eat more than me, I want to see you do it. Well, Prissy P is offering to post your video. If you do the same challenge, I would advise to put your bodies first and don't attempt this challenge because it's nothing but nonsense and mayhem over there. I mean, I don't know if this girl has been looking in her comments and seeing what the people are saying because... They're telling you you need to stop. Now, all of a sudden, you and Rayshawn have had a light bulb moment, and the food is too much. Now, for anybody who is thinking about doing this challenge, thinking about, you know, taking fake meat and stuffing it down your throat, the first thing I want to show you is a picture two years ago of Prissy Husband. Pictures are of her husband. When they first got on YouTube, or I should say when he first started uploading on YouTube, just look at his shoulders. Just look at his shirts. They're baggy on him. Look at his face. When you start doing stuff like this, this muck banging, look how big his face is now. Getting up there. Even look at his feet. They don't even go all the way in the slides anymore. That's from this eating. This man looks completely different than what he did a couple years ago 
And it's all because he's out here muckbanging with his wife. She she has always been big. From what I've seen, and I've seen a video before any of this YouTube and all of that stuff, she was already 500 and barely 20, I believe. You know, like, it's I, I just couldn't do it. I could not do that to my husband. No matter how big I was, I would not sit up here and have you muckbanging and watch you blow up and not even care. But, Rayshawn, it looks like you were a little slimmer back in those days. And, Prissy, you were still, well, Prissy. But keep on doing what you do. Sometimes you need somebody strong, as, as Prissy was talking about. If the head ain't right, the body can't be right. Hey, Rayshawn, if the head ain't right, the body ain't right. And this is what happens when you allow your wife to run you. But that is not for me to decide. Y'all, let me know how you are feeling in the comments. All about Prissy P and her newfound discovery that she's only going to eat until she's full. Let me know how you feel about Prissy P encouraging other people to do the same foolishness that she is doing. I want to thank y'all for tuning in to another edition of Keeping It Real TV. My name is Regina. Remember to always keep it real, and I am out. You trying to rip my girls? I'm trying to get up in this air. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can have it in. Okay, you can have it in. No. Twerk. Twerk. Bit on